been feeling trapped down on the floor I don't know what for Feels like I'm gonna lose Silence takes a hold I can't let it go Chain up, no one knows But I won't let the stormy seas Throw me in open water Let me have my peace And leave me till tomorrow Wind into my sail Away from things I let go Floating on the waves We go bottoms up We go all the way We got a call from Zoe at Offshore Rafting She said she might have found the Hypalon dinghy we've been looking for to replace our PVC So we jumped in the car and headed to Sebastian to check it out uh, repaired the seams, uh, put all that back together. And wouldn't you know, later, after we made everything else, you know, this was several rounds of gluing, everything else strong, something had opened up there again. Plus, he had dry strips and he had old adhesive over everything. So your surprise was that I painted that. Oh, and nice. I remember okay. showing you guys that they also had old adhesive back at the clones and so I painted down there as well. Okay. I, I tacked everything back down and then I painted over their stuff so you can't see that. Surprise! We, we three all screened it. So now you got nice, I mean if you touched this before your hand would come away fully chalky. Okay. sun damage that you don't want. So, so but the biggest thing is we got. did the UV treatment like we cleaned yes. and we got rid of all of the chalkiness of the, you know, we potential Sunday and you know, the start of that, and, and we UV treated. <laughs> if you guys just keep up with that UV, you're yeah. going to be making this yeah, better and, and better and, and better as it goes along instead of yeah. more and more warm. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be a really good thing. Right? So you're saying, sorry, no, no. Intro. you're saying the more UV the protection you, the, the, the more no. you do it, the more it's going to condition it. So. In the beginning of this, just because we gave you one so treatment, you're going to want to do two treatments a month Can for a bit. Just do too much. Nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the fact that sometimes when you get to a point where they, all those uh, treatments have had a chance to seep in, and now you guys put your butts on the tubes and, and then you slick. See, okay. I mean, woo! Right. Um, that's the only thing. But okay. you'll know. You'll yeah, know you'll know. You but you'll be able to see it. Yep. What else we got going on? Anything else we need to take out of it from the inside of there? Um, you guys put these waters? Those are our waters from the last time we went out. Any spaghettios? <laughs> yes. What do we got? 
We've got a half inch. Half inch. So what we did was uh, we took two pieces of starboard and we, um, well, first we took some 5,200 or some, wait, some 4,000, huh? Yeah, 4,000. We took some 4,000 and we, um, we plugged all the holes from the old um, outboard or whatever else they had mounted back here. And um, then we took two pieces of starboard and we siliconed and sandwiched them together on either side of the new uh, outboard mount. And um, so everything's like, like double plugged and reinforced. And now we're bolting the, uh, the new outboard uh, to the transom. But you can see this, this piece of starboard on the back. Hold this one. And this piece of starboard in the front. He's lined up, I can see it. Silly cone. all the cables, all the things except for the steering stuff and the bilge pump wires. I took it all out and I set it on there and started laying out. So we got the charger. Yeah, we got the charger. We've got the, the throttle. throttle. We've got the tilt. We've got the, the fish finder chart plotter, transducer, motor, fuel lines. Only the things I left were the steering cable, the bilge pump wires, and the throttle, and the um, the fuel hose. You left the fuel hose? I left the fuel hose. So now all of that, all the wiring and stuff, it's all just laying right here, all perfectly laid out, exactly how I want it. <laughs> perfectly. It's perfectly laid out. I have a, me I have a method to my madness. Okay. This. All right, so this elegant craftsman—is it craftsmanship? Craftsmanship, yes, the craftsmanship. Look at that. It looks better than it did on the other one. All right, let's do this. <clears throat> Racing stripe to match the size stripes. Racing stripe? Racing stripe. Hmm. What you guys think? <laughs> the comment below. Huh. Do the comment thing. It's Do the there. comment thing. Should there. we put a racing stripe on our console? Yeah. Okay, okay so what all we got? We got a. This guy. You see him? Unscrew this. And you put. At least that washer. I don't I'll tighten that down even more in a minute. Now this is the positive. Goes all the way around to that side. And we get these are throttle. Mm -hmm. Throttle huh? and shifter. This is shifter, this is throttle. Okay, we gotta make sure that we connect those correctly up yeah. front because it was backwards on the old dinghy. So whatever we gotta switch, we gotta switch, you know. So you have these are the shifters, this is the throttle. 
before this was on this side. So the throttle, so the shifter cable, whenever you kick it, say this is supposed to be in forward, now it pushes it in and accidentally puts it in reverse. So when you switch the sides, now it puts it in thr it puts it in forward. And now it's in reverse, just like that. Outstanding. And then when you push it even further. It'll... So you just reversed those, I just those two reversed. brackets. I just switched this, these sides. Now it'll be on the right side. Sweet. Good job, Aiden. pressure to the screw and try to get it at the angle that the screw's at. So it's going to have to go in. See how it's angled in that way? Okay. There we go. Alright, so now try to figure out what's the best fit for that new door. That seems best to me. Does that fit to you? Okay, so let's get a good look at these hinges. All right, will these work, you think? New hinges? Sure. Huh? Sure. That one's a little... It's all right, that's right. How do I put them all the way? Yeah, you can get them, get them a lot closer. <laughs> oh, I hope I got that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Brogan. I'm sorry, Brogan. Brogan? I'm very sorry. Apparently, I'm not allowed to tease Aiden. All right. That's good. That one's good. Nice. We got steering.
motor is mounted. It is reconnected. We got our loop, our wiring loop there. We've got the transducer hooked up. We've got our wires all fed back together. We've got them running into a conduit, running into the center console. Throttles installed, hooked up. Ignitions installed, hooked up. Kill switches installed and hooked up. Garmin chart plotter fish finders installed and hooked up. We've got all the wiring and everything harnessed and, and booted in. And then we have the hatch door installed. Compass is lined up, flush and plumb with the boat. Chargers installed and hooked up. The seat is reinstalled and sealed. And uh, we installed this backrest rail. Following Jolt. Wait, they have hey. heads, but they don't have bodies. Where are we going? Um, to a beach. And then <laughs> we are going to ride on our boat. After. Not Asher, boat, where are we going? To the island. <laughs> Aiden. Right Sanity Island. Sanity Island. Sanity Island. We are Island. going to Cuckoo sea Island. trial. We're going to Cuckoo Island. The dinghy. Well, she floats. Put the motor down and go ahead and start it up. Drop oh, it in the water. She is quiet. Eyes in her. Camera. Ready? All right, Aiden, you ready? You doing, son? Asher, what about you? I am ready. You ready? Let's go to faster. All right. We're gonna go fast, right, Aiden? Push off of that. Oh. Which way? This way. You sure? Got my boys driving us. I'm better, I'm better at it now than I was the last time I tried it. Little one, bigger one. 
We're gonna go check out some boats that are moored out there. There's the island we just left. It was really fun there. some adjustments to make definitely but what a blast we're back in the game back in the water